Okay, so I went to the doctor yesterday and got my little my chart set up. This being a dope shit. Damn, man, I didn't even see this car. Where the fuck this car come from? This nigga done popped up out of nowhere. Motherfucking, what is that, a Tesla? Motherfucking Nissan bug type car. Like one of them Nissan electric cars. This nigga flying. Like, I didn't even see this dude. But I don't know. I heard him speed up. Anyway, go to the doctors yesterday. And, you know, I'm excited. Come on. This car ain't never just took off this slow. Damn. You know, I feel good that I finally went to the damn doctor, man. I've been having back pain since, like, last year. And I just stopped drinking. Like, I stopped drinking March of last year, so this whole month. At some point this month is my year my year anniversary of not drinking. And it's funny because, like, my girl had told the doctor I had stopped for, like, nine months. I was like, hold on, what, no motherfucking nine months? That shit was, like, four months. I started back, she was like, yeah, relapse. But the way she said it was like, 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 like that, like happened again. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm done drinking. Done drinking. I, I didn't abuse, I'm talking about, I done went crazy on alcohol. Abuse alcohol. Dead ass. Abuse alcohol. I don't think that there's probably anybody on earth, that, I ain't gonna say that, but I know in my circle, nobody is fuck with me. Dead ass. Like, and it's, it's actually sad because, I could drink a whole 750 milliliter of vodka a day. That's literally what it got to. Like, last for the year of 2020 and up until March of 2021, uh, when I stopped drinking last year, I was fucking them things up. I started off drinking, you know, beers. Like, this is how it all started. I used to drink, like, four locos around, like, 16, 17 all started in the party day, just trying alcohol. And this, this was bad, too, because my mom drunk her whole pregnancy with me. Like, her whole fucking pregnancy. And that shit made me mad. I was like, yo, you, you must not was giving... You didn't give a damn about me. You didn't give a damn about me. She did the same thing with my brother, too. And that's why, like, we both got fucked up back. We got scoliosis. <clears throat> Excuse me. And my mom used to try to sugarcoat it and shit when I was little. And... Honest to God, my mom passed, but if she wouldn't have died, I wouldn't have never got surgery. And I would be, I probably would not be making these videos, honest to God. My back was so fucking crooked. It was so crooked. And I had, I had scoliosis worse than everyone. Like, you know, little kid, like, it used to be time I used to go to LA to the alley with my dad, my brother, and my nephews. And, you know, I'd be like, hold on. Like, I can't walk because that shit used to hurt so bad. And I had to stop walking like dead ass for like 30, 40 minutes. I have to sit down because I cannot walk. That shit used to hurt bad. And, you know, my mom used to play around and sugarcoat shit when I go to the doctor's appointment and shit. As if she was going to let me get the surgery. Nigga, I wanted the surgery so bad. And I told my mom one time I couldn't take the pain. Like, I want the surgery because the doctor told me to make it uh, like I would feel better with my shit being straight. Tell my mom, she like, okay, but the whole time she bullshitting. So when she ended up dying, you know, went through with the surgery, I was happy I got that surgery, man. And it's the funny part, too, because I got ugly toes. So I remember when I, when I was on the little hospital bed, when they gave me the little cherry little anesthesia to sleep a little nigga, I didn't know what the hell was going on. This shit tastes good. And my toes were showing. I was wiggling my toes around 13. I'm like, yo. I don't know how these doctors feel about a nigga toe because they see him. But I went to sleep, woke up. My These niggas had me on my face to where my whole shit was like swollen, bro. And they just didn't give a fuck because I was breathing on the damn shit machine type thing. Like my lip was so big, it was holding in the little oxygen thing in my nose. My lip was so swollen, like that motherfucker was just stuck in my nose, breathing through that motherfucker. And, uh, side note, like, y'all hear me, like, sound like I'm congested a lot, but that's where I get my hood name from, like, when I was, when I was gangbang, you used to call me Peanut, I don't know why these niggas name, nickname, they said, could I sound like I got peanut butter stuck in my throat, which, which I do, I was a little, con real congested ass nigga, dead ass, dead ass, I got a little congestion now, but I don't know what it is, probably, I, I, I don't, I can't figure out what it is right now, but went to the doctor, I ain't sick or anything, but. 
Yeah, that's where the little hood name come from. They used to call me Peanut. Like, yeah, nigga, you talk like you had. It used to be worse. Cause like I used to be a little fat. I mean, not a little fat nigga. I used to be a little stuffy little nigga. Stop playing. Y'all niggas playing, man. Stop playing. Gang, yeah, buddy, get that shit. That's how dad I used to talk as a little kid. What's up, niggas? All. <laughs> they used to make fun of me like a motherfucker. So they called me Peanut. Cause they said I sound like I got peanut butter stuck in my throat. But uh, you know, anyway. You know, my mom used to drink with a nigga the whole damn time, so that shit just got bad. I was just drinking like crazy. I started off, you know, a little four locos partying days, you know, sometimes a little, little hard shit. Parmesan. My dad used to always drink Parmesan, so me and my, my day one nigga, Eric, we used to always drink that shit. We'd tear his shit up. We'd go, you know, he'd be drinking my cup. We'd pour a whole water bottle in there. We'd just go catch the bus, go to Fontana, be drinking on that. He couldn't even hang with alcohol. You know, he used to get towed up. But me... It just was like that shit just fit right in. So start off like that. And then, you know, through life drinking when I went to Colorado, me and my brother, he drinking. So, you know, he keep drinking. He was drinking every day. He had started like, I remember at that time, he was like, damn, I think I'm addicted to this shit. I've been doing this shit for like two years. And I used to be on my head like shit. Nigga, I already been drinking like at uh, 16, 17, you know? So I'm like, you know, but it wasn't every day type shit. It used to be on the weekend. And, you know, we do that. Start off every night, go get a, I used to get 40s, you know. Dead ass, I used to go get a 40 because, I, you know, that's the cool shit. I done seen that shit on Friday, I believe. Like, hearing Debo, like, what you got on my 40? Shit like that. And then when Ezel went in there and got the 40, I'm like, nigga, I want one of those. So, you know, I ain't 21 at the time, but I had my brother go get the motherfucker. Start off getting the 40s, Bud Lights. You know, that was little shit, drinking those, and I started trying all, t- then I made up in my mind, I'm going to try everything in a liquor store. Dead ass, I had something in my mind, like, I'm going to be on the World Book of Guinness record, because I'm going to buy everything in a liquor store, so I'm trying all type of new shit. Every paycheck, I'm in there. Then, one day, uh, I think me and my brother go to the store, we see this girl, she off this, uh, they call them Camel Black, it's a malt liquor, bro, that shit had me tow up. Start getting those like a dollar thirty nine for this little nasty ass shit, but it's twelve percent. Gonna get you towed. I believe. Yeah, yeah, I believe it was twelve percent. Yeah, twelve percent. They had one that was ten percent. I was like, y'all trying to cheat a nigga? Used to get those. Go crazy on those. Started doing shots, all that shit. But I'm gonna fast forward. When I went to Iowa and I ended up being homeless out there, well, Colorado too. I used to drink in the truck. Me and my baby mom. It'll be me and my baby mom. We used to. Damn, that's sad to say, but we used to live across the street from the 7-Eleven in the truck. Dead ass. I owe, I owe, I owe money on the truck. This motherfucker up for repo. The struggle was real. I'm over here. Soon as I see a tow man pulling this, go ahead, nigga. I'ma fly out this bitch. Sitting in the front seat. Sometimes I gotta, you know, put the back seat down to the damn truck. Nigga, I ain't even know my back seat went down I, before my baby mama came out there because it's like a transition. Like it was too late. I ended up getting fired from this job. I moved out of my sister house. I got this truck. Oh, on the truck. Ended up losing the job. So now I'm sleeping in a damn truck. Then my baby mom come out there. She don't want to stay at my sister house, so she like, fuck it. We all in the truck. She a real one. I'm gonna bless her ass too. We ain't, we ain't work out and shit. She done some weird ass shit. We ain't work out, but you know I'm still blessed because I, I know she know what that struggle is like. But um, anyways, used to drink with her. We used to go to 7-Eleven, go get something to drink, then go park the motherfucking truck in the damn park, way in the back. You can't see in that motherfucker because it ain't, it ain't no lit up park. It's pitch black in that motherfucker. A couple of times, police come. I'm in the motherfucking truck, drunk, sleep. They knocking on the window, flashing the light. Well, what you doing up here? I'm homeless, you know. Uh, my son in the car and baby mom. They see me and my baby mom, but they don't see my son. So they thought we was up there doing some shit that we weren't supposed to be. And then they're like, where's your son? Lift up the cover, they see. And then they'll just run my plate, run my license, and go on about their damn day. They done that a couple of times where they just knew, like, oh, yeah, this person's at the park if y'all go up there. Motherfuckers wasn't even tripping type shit. And it's been a couple of times me and my baby mom got into it. I'm going to talk about that later, though. But uh, anyway, so... Used to drink out there with her. Went to Iowa. Ended up getting homeless out there. That's when the drinking. That was the start of the drink. Cause I ain't know I was depressed when I came back to California. But I didn't want to come back to California because I had a game banging history and I had changed from all that. So I was like stressed out. I didn't want to come out here. And uh, I was just finna get a place in Iowa, but it was like too much on me having to make a decision when my baby mom kicked me out for the second fucking time. 
I was like, I'm done with being out here, bro. Like, I'm done. Like, I had a job lined up. I just didn't want to fucking be outside. That was the whole damn thing. Weather fucked up out there and everything. You know, I'm, like, tired. Call my dad. I'm like, yeah, can y'all give me a ticket? He asked me to ask my baby mom, can I stay till, like, Friday? And I paid every fucking thing. Like, I paid all fucking, every fucking bill. Every bill. Like, every bill. Even bills that I shouldn't even pay that was hers. Paid all that shit. We went shopping. Well, uh, she pregnant with my unborn, my unborn second son with her. I didn't even get to meet him. Still to this day, I ain't even met him. And I had to do some real forgiving because I was like, I know if I see her and she thinks shit just cool, I'm going to snap and I'm going to end up like dead ass wasting my life. So we chopped it up and I just came to understand it because she have her point of view. And now that I'm more mature and more adult, I have my point of view. So it's just we couldn't really solve nothing. And I realized, like, oh, she feels some type of way. I feel some type of way. I, I wanted an apology. It could have been the fakest apology. Just so I could clear up whatever demon is in me. But I just said, fuck it. You know, we chopped it up. She got her understanding out. I got my understanding out. And I just let it go. Like, just, I just let that shit go. And now I'm just trying to get my businesses up off the ground. So that way I can, like, you know, either buy a house out there. To be honest, if my dad wasn't having these health issues... Me and my girl would have probably moved to another state, you know, uh, to like buy a house where it's like cheap, somewhere like Texas. But I'm trying to stick around my dad, you know, and and I'm trying to get that house too because I want to keep that house in the family. So that's a whole nother ball game. But anyway, let me get back to the thing. So come to California, start off, you know, I'm drinking beers with my dad every day. Go to work, I'm drinking a, a but but like he got he got he he old, he retired, he living life, drinking beers and shit. Parmesan, I start off on that, like, fuck it, what to do after work, drink a beer, get in a relationship with this girl, you know, my best friend's sister, we end up in a relationship, you know, I start drinking Natty Daddies and Hurricanes, those little cheap ass beers, dollar thirty for those, drinking those faithfully, every day, every day, every day, and the B100, that's why I gotta see a dentist, cause like, y'all can't really see my teeth, y'all might, some part, but I got calcium build up on the bottom of my teeth, from just drinking, not brushing my damn teeth, just bad hygiene, I'm being 100, and uh, you know, beer will, f will tear your teeth up, bro, like, it'll eat, eat away whatever's on your teeth, and it'll fuck your shit up, and beer also has sugars in it, so that shit just go to work on your shit, decay it all, and it'll tear your shit up, so, um, anyway, you know, I started drinking those, and it just got worse, you know, start drinking those. I remember one day I drank some vodka, and I used to drink this certain vodka when I was in Iowa. So I snapped on my girl randomly out of nowhere. The girl I was dating at the time, calling her bitches, all type of shit. Cause I'm just, I just drunk this alcohol that I drunk when I was homeless in Iowa, and I just snapped on her as if she was my baby mom. Like, and I was, oh shit. Hold on, I might be a police behind. I can't tell if this is police. How fast am I going? I'm going like 80. Anyway, I'm finna... We'll see. I can't tell if it's a police, but... I ain't got any... Anyways, back to the story. So, you know, I'm, I'm snap on her tripping. I ain't know what the hell happened. Like, I, when I kind of came to, I just remember I was in my truck, like, ready to leave. And when nobody let me leave, she had me blocked. And then her homegirl came out. I started calling disrespecting her. I was like, bitch, like, get out of my way, bitch. And her, when her homegirl snapped, like, hey, don't be calling her no bitch. And then they're like, you tripping now. And then when I came to, I was like, damn, I am tripping. But uh, started there. Then, you know, it just got worse. Worse. Super worse. Started upgrading. Drinking Parmesan. My dad getting the bottles. They, he, he used to get the 750 milliliter vodkas. I mean, uh, Parmesan. But then he used to get the bigger bottle than that. And I don't know what size it was, but I might have to show it one day. I used to tear those up, drink all this shit. He be like, damn, man, you, when you ain't here, I have alcohol. This last me. The damn near, uh, like, it lasts him longer than what it lasts me. That shit be going like three days to where I wouldn't be tripping. I'm like, I'm going to buy you another one. Like, chill out. I'm going to buy you another one. And he used to call me an alcoholic. Like, yeah, you just, just like your mom. But I agreed, but I knew I was worse. You know, my mom ain't had shit on me. Like, if I was drinking with my, if my mom said a lot of shit, she would have been surprised. But it would have, she would have had to have a reality check like shit. Shouldn't have been drinking with this nigga the whole time. You know? My brother, he had a drinking problem too. But I'm pretty sure I surpassed that nigga just on far as my intake. Because, like, when you're dealing with, like, depression and shit, like, you go crazy. And I was making a lot of dark-ass music. Like, dark-ass music. Like, I knew 
one day I was going to drink and not wake up. Like, that's how bad it was. But I was so in the trance of that shit. Like, I have so many songs recorded under the influence of alcohol. Like, just listening to the songs changes the vibe. Like, I can feel that. Feel whatever the fuck was happening back then. But, you know, I started doing that and then just got to drinking vodka every day. Like, every day. That ass for like a year. I'm just drinking vodka. Going crazy. Whole bottle. And I realized I had a problem when... My cousins had came pick me up. But I had a fresh bottle of this 750 milliliter of vodka. And I'm with them like probably eight hours. But within like four hours, I drunk that whole shit. I was towed up. And I had them take me to the store to get me some more vodka. Not a big bottle like that. Maybe like a little bit bigger than a pint maybe. And a four loco. And start drinking on that. And didn't have a hangover when I woke up. I was like, oh, shit, like, I really got a motherfucking problem now. And it just got to the point like that, you know? And I used to drink alcohol straight by itself. You know, I started mixing it with water. Mixing it with water. Let me, uh, let me make sure my dad good. I, my, one of my biggest fears, to be honest, is coming, uh, coming to my dad's and he, he in there not breathing. I usually, it's weird, but my dad be on Facebook. I usually check on him through uh, Facebook because I don't like bugging him sometimes. I know sometimes he bugging him. Like, yeah, I'm just calling to check on you. Make sure you're 80 years old, you know? So I'll do that, check on him, see if one last night he been logged in on Facebook or I, uh, or I um, log into the Spectrum because I got Spectrum on my app, his Spectrum, and see if, like, he's on any of his devices. Like, if he's on his, if he got the TV on it, to show the TV's on. If he's on his uh, computer, it'll show that it's connected. So I'll, I'll be checking on him like that, so I don't be bugging him all the damn time. But let me make sure he's good. I'll be back.